My name is Phyllis Feiler, and I'd like to talk about who my teacher that influenced me the most. Her name was Miss Anderson. She was the PE teacher in my hometown at Howard. It was Howard High School at that time. And for the first time, I saw a strong black female who was very, very confident in herself and very confident in teaching, particularly PE, because I really did like sports. And one of the things about it is I can remember a time, though, when I had taken uh, science and I had a teacher named Ms. Rogers. Ms. Rogers was one of those ladies that went by the book and she used to have us to take each other's names whenever she left the, um, the room. That way we were like peer upon peer, you know, watching out to see who's gonna do something. And I had this young lady in my class who, I was taking names that particular day and she was acting up, so I wrote her name down. And of course, when Ms. Rogers got back, she was in trouble. And the next time, she got an opportunity to take names. And before the teacher could leave the room, she wrote my name down, even though I hadn't done anything. And when Ms. Rogers got back, she got the list and found my name on it and knew at that time that I had to be punished. So she sent me to Mr. Vereen. Mr. Vereen was, was my social studies teacher and he was one, he met, he met it out the punishment and he would beat you on your hand, but boy, would it hurt. And after that, I was so hurt, not so much by being punished, but by the fact that I felt I was being treated wrong. And I remember crying so much all day long, I cried. And I remember going to the lunchroom and I was still crying. And Miss Anderson, she came over to me and she looked at me and she said, you need to stop crying. And of course I wasn't going to. And she told me, she said, smile and the whole world smiles with you. Cry and you'll cry alone. And I said, I cry alone? because I felt that it was wrong. I think that was a turning point in my life because it's been very important to me to champion those people who have been mistreated. I found myself over the years being everything from a union steward to being on the human relations advisory councils, hearing about how people were treated simply because of who they were. And I can say that that time changed who I am, how I am with people, and really trying to help people in all aspects of their lives. And that to me is how a teacher changed who I became and the mark that she left on me. And even today, she never realized how much of a mark that made of realizing the importance of standing up for other people, especially when they can't stand up for themselves. And that's my story.